Don't just let me get a glaze, yeah? Because it wouldn't have happened if I wasn't here. It's the least I can do. I'll get it done on the insurance. And then they'll pump your premiums up. It's more trouble than it's worth. I tell you, if I'd have seen that Leanne, I'd have got the police. Do you really think it was her? I don't doubt it. I mean, I've no evidence, like... Well, since when has evidence made any difference? I mean, look at the mess I'm in and there's not a shred of it. Wait till I see. Just forget it, Jack, please. It's my window. Yeah, but think of the trouble it'll cause. Things could get really out of hand. So what do I do? Just let her get away with it? Jack, look, I'm an embarrassment to people around here as it is. I know you're angry with whoever did it, but I just want to keep my head down. Nan, my mum said, where's my cosy? She's taking you swimming, love. I don't know. She just said get it. Mm, I think it's in the airing cupboard underneath Will's gear. Ooh. What's happened here? Got broke last night. We're not sure how. Some of us are. Jack, please. Right, I'll go and get some bacon. Do you buy to eat? Oh, and uh, if you bump into you know who, don't say anything. Do you know who the person who did it? Just drop it. Are you busy? No, it's with off. Fancy giving us a hand with this? Yeah, no problems. But if I help out, do you think Jackie will make me some bracky as well? I'm starving. Let's see you make a shape first, all right? Yeah. Where was it? In the airing cupboards. I'll give it here then. <laughs> Me nan says we're going swimming. Yep. We're going to stay with Shelley's sister while her mummy's in hospital. What's her name? Mary. Will she play with me? Oh, she's a fair bit older than you, but you could ask her nicely. I like Auntie Shelley. So do I. Is she your best friend in the whole world? <laughs> I suppose she is, yeah. Shelley's beautiful, like a princess. Do you think she's beautiful? I think she's very beautiful. Oh. Oh. Lazy man's low day. Oh, too much to do. Oh. Too little time. Are you busy? Yeah, I need to get some new ideas for a portfolio and I want to call in and see my cousin on the way home. Oh, going home for a little break? Actually, my mum's in hospital for a hysterectomy and I'm lending a hand with my sister. Oh, good for you, love. Well, a few days away from here and work should always help to recharge the batteries. Yeah. And hopefully Lindsay's as well. Um, how do you mean? Oh, uh, is she going with her? Oh, she said she felt like she needed a break, so... Hmm. What about Carly? Well, she's coming as well. They're both welcome. Sorry, Jack, I thought you knew. Oh, I'm sure she was going to mention it. Well, she just said she needed a break, so I invited her. Oh, well, enjoy yourselves. Thanks. Bye. See ya. Hi, Liv. Are you on your own, love? No, but I am old enough to look after myself, you know. Mm. You shouldn't be opening the door on your own. Well... My mum's awake and my dad's on the toilet. In the bathroom. How can you see from there? I'm going to talk to your mum and dad about this. You don't know who you're opening the door to these days. Yeah, well, I will do once the door's open. There are some very nasty people around, love. That's probably what that's all about. Well, why? People get frustrated because the council or whoever don't move bad people away from ordinary, decent people like us. And that's why they broke the window? Yes, because there's a bad man staying there. You mean Sinbad? Yes. <sighs> right, get this lot tidied and we'll go and get the glass. Would Jackie get us some food first? Yes, yes, no problem. I could just do with a fry of beans, <sighs> stack of toast, a lot. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, just get it all out of the way and I'll make it up. Fix it yourself. Yes, love. Um, 
All right, Jack. Hi, sir. Um, go upstairs and get dressed, love. I just told her to go upstairs and get dressed in. Well, go on, do as you told. I was only talking. Be an angel, come on. I'll, uh, I'll get you some brekkie sauces. Okay. Is it okay if I have a bit? Don't be hard faced, you. It's all right. Just do a good job here first, all right? Let's uh, go and get some gloves. We need her to carry the glass. Why didn't you just use the van? Because it's only up the road. But it'll be quicker though, won't it? Yeah, I can't even get the van started. Anyway, we're going to need gloves. Oh. You didn't tell me you were going away with Shelley. I was going to. But out the blue, isn't it? No. I've got holiday left and I want to use it if it's OK. Don't take advantage of me because I'm your mum as well as your boss. I'm worried about Carly. That prick coming through the window terrified her. It's not his fault if there's head the ball was up there. Just think how Simbad will feel if you get off. He's going to clock on that, isn't he? I'm sorry, but I'm worried about Kylie. Oh, fine. But when you come back, Simbad's still going to be here. Because I'm not bending to anyone's bullying tactics. Hi, Jack. Um, um, I'm sorry about that. It's all right. Didn't hear anything, you know, the old... Uh... She's got a point, hasn't she? Oh, everyone's got a point. It's very easy to spouse off, isn't it? Doesn't mean to say the right. Well, she'd have gone yesterday. It'd have been easier to walk away, then. Why? So our Lindsay can decide whether she's part of the lynch mob or not? This is a home. You know, I don't like the idea of her getting the bounced up because I'm here. Well, she's going on holiday, isn't she? Yeah, but she wouldn't be if I wasn't here, would she? And you've got nowhere to go, so forget it, you're staying here. Why well, couldn't Mick be more like you? People do funny things. Just wish I knew why this had all started in the first place, why Andrew said it. Listen, Andrew's just a kid. They make things up. No, not Andrew. And he's sharp. You know, he's like... Well, he respects me. So why all this bother? <sighs> Something's gone on. And if I could just speak to him or Barbara, just for a minute, I could ask him what, why, but that's not going to happen, is it? I, mean, I don't know, should have... should just go, get out of everybody's face. Sinbad, if I have to go out in that street and fight everyone who calls you a pave or a paedophile, I'll do it. Now, you just ignore them. You stay in here. Cos walking away will just make Ron Dixon and that cowley ampal and anyone else believe you're guilty. Right, love, you sort out where you want your garden and I'll clean this. Oh, what do you think I'll have her over here? Your mum used to have her own patch of garden. And what did she grow? Veg. I was going to grow some spuds, but I know how much she like flowers and I really want to give her a big bunch of them on Christmas Day. Ah, oh, that's nice, love. But I think you might have chosen the wrong ones. Well, I'll pray. I don't want to disillusion you, but that might not help. Th what are you doing? I'm only looking for Simbad. Come away. I'm just looking. D get on with your garden, pet. <sighs> Do you believe all that stuff about him, then? All I know is that people don't point the finger unless there's some truth in it. But do you remember Mary Magdalene? Eh? Let he, um, let he who is without sin chuck the first stone. I may have done some naughty things in my life, love, but I have never done anything as wicked as that man's done. Now, come away from the fence and get on with your garden.
Who's gone? No. Come on, mate. Up the stairs. Well, the mum's not in. We won't be able to get our fry up. Oh, shut up. I'm starving, then. Right, well, let's get a start on this. Yeah, and then me and you. Well, you said not to mention it. <laughs> Hi. Hiya. Is there any news on who did it? Well, it's a long story. But we know it's some nutter. Oh, dear. Hi, Shelley. Hi, you ready? Yep. Is it just these? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'll get the top of you with you. Thanks. Thanks. Kylie, ready? Yeah, she's just getting some books for the journey, and uh, I've got to wait for my mum. How long is she going to be? Oh, I don't know. Do you have to say goodbye to your mum? Well, there's no one to look after this little fella. Hi, hi. We'll look after him for you. Um, you sure? Yeah. I can look after your little brother, you know. Well, if you don't mind, there's some juice in the fridge. And, er, uh, you can't trust me, you know. I know that. By the way, sorry about the window when you're frightening Kylie. Doesn't matter. Well, I'll see you then, mate. Say bye-bye. <laughs> <Come on, then. laughs> well, well mate. this is it. See if there's any what? juice in the fridge for yeah. you. First weekend Sorry. in a lesbian relationship. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's early days, so let's just keep it all relaxed, yeah? Suits me. Come on. Sorry, I was in the back. Oh. Hiya. Um, are you Barbara Newton? Uh, yeah. I'm Jackie Corkill. I'm a neighbour of... Well, um, I'm a friend of Simbad's. Carly, tell me before she thought you were absolutely beautiful. Oh, I'm flattered. <laughs> I don't think you're beautiful. Oh. I think you are totally gorgeous, Liz. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a giggling schoolgirl. I think I need to stop thinking about you. It's novelty. <laughs> it'll, it'll wear off as soon as you find out about all my bad habits and meet the sister from hell. Does Mary know that you're a... Yeah, that you're a... a lesser? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't really talk about it much, but she must have a good idea. She's heard me and Mum row about it often enough. Do you think I should tell Kylie? About us? Yeah, I just wouldn't want her to find out by accident. And would she understand? I don't know. Well, she's hardly equipped to understand it. Mm, I suppose. And if she doesn't understand, she's going to want to ask questions, and then she might not be able to keep quiet. And... Yeah, well, I'm not worried about that. Isn't it better that she just sees us as friends, Linz? Maybe just until she's a bit older. How old do you reckon? Oh, I don't know. 14, 15, 29 and a half. Really? You think you're going to last that long? I certainly hope so. Here comes trouble. Oh, yeah. Hey, Kyles, let's get you strapped in. Here's your bag. Hey, Shelley, mm -hmm. are you coming swimming with us too? Oh, of course I am. And your sister. What about Mary? I suppose I could drag her along. What's he sent you around for? He doesn't know I'm here. Then you won't be disappointed that I'm not talking to you, whatever it's about. Barbara, please. Just five minutes of your time. It's not much. Only... People's lives are going to be ruined, and I only want to talk to you. There's nothing to talk about. Look, I'm a mother myself. I've lost a son. I understand the pressure and, and, and the horror of something like this, and I only need to talk to you. Look, don't invite me in. I'll do it here. But please, will you just listen? Believe that. What? <laughs> Lindsay just handed them over. I know, yeah. Wish Leanne would have been here to see you. I'm glad she wasn't. They've only kicked her off again. She's bang out of order here. Eh? I know, she's always been like that, though. She's got a gob like the Mersey Tunnel. Well, someone's gonna sort her out one of these days. Yeah, we'll just make sure it's not you. This is Andrew's tent. He spends so much time out there, isn't he? Oh. My little Jimmy used to be out all the summer holidays. I often wonder what he thinks about when he's sitting in there. This is really upset him, you know. I'm sure it is. And I... I know Simbad's an adult and all that, but he's devastated. His neighbours have turned their backs on him and 
A mate he's had for years has deserted him. And someone put a brick through my window last night. Why? Because he's staying with me. Be brave, isn't it? He? He's a friend. I can't turn me back on him. All he's got now is me and my fella and a handful of people and his daughter. He's got a child. Mm -hmm. He's not with the mum now, like, but... You see, this is a family man we're talking about. This is someone who helped his neighbour and her two kids deal with a wife batterer. Oh, yeah. Simbad. He goes out of his way to help people. Maybe he's stuck. You call and he's there. Mr Reliable. I've looked after a couple of kids who've been abused. And the fellas who did it look like butter wouldn't melt. Did you know those men? No. But how well do you know Simbad? I've known him for years. I've known our milkman for years, but I haven't got a clue what he's like. I know Simbad enough to trust him with my own kid. Oh, well, that's great in theory. I mean, people always say they'll do this, they'll do that. Dead easy for you if your kids have grown up. But what would you do if they were the same age as Andrew, eh? Dead, vulnerable. My son's three. Oh, right. OK. But I bet you're not going to take a big chance and leave Simbad looking after him. He's looking after William right now. Are you serious? Look, Barbara, my child's life is more precious than mine. And I've left Simbad looking after him. That's how much I trust him. All right, Wills, you OK playing there? Yeah. Hey, make sure you get that pussy right in the corners. All right, you've told me about ten times now. Yeah, but that's because you're still being tight with it. I'm not going to run out. OK, boss. Just be confident that you'll be all right. All right, Simbad. All right. Just about to go for an ice cream. Oh, I could do with one of them right now. Where's he going? What? Anthony, over here, now. I was just going to tell Simbad about my garden. I've told you to stay away. Have they gone? It was all right about. Do you really think I want any more kids hanging around me? Look, you're making yourself look guilty here. Think about it, Tim. I can't afford to be seen near a kid round here anymore, otherwise they're just going to think, oh, he's at it again. But that's sick. Yeah, well, that's what I'm living with. I'm scared to even smile at a kid. I trust you. And so does Jackie. And Lindsay. She left him with you, didn't she? I know. And if they hadn't let him stay, that would have been me. Finished. You see, the pressure's really getting to him, which is why he spends so much time in here. Why is he under pressure? Well, the police and social workers have to investigate. It's all got a bit much for him. So it's all going out, is it? Well, once the police and the CPS are ready, then it depends how Andrew feels about it. So Andrew could stop the investigation? Well, the police don't want him under stress in court, but that could do him more harm. <sighs> but Barbara, I mean, how did it all start? Which? Well, Andrew, what did he say? I don't know. He just sort of... Well, he was acting kind of different, and then he came to me and... Well, he told me what had happened. Did he say it has happened more than once, or what? Twice. I was shocked. I felt sick. And then I went and told Simbad to stay away. And then you went to the police? Social services first, and then the police got involved, which is right. These things can't be allowed to go on. No, of course not. So, you got interviewed by the police and the social services? No, just the once. What? That's it? Just one interview for something this serious? It, it wouldn't matter. Andrew's very good. How do you mean? He remembers every detail. Every detail? Yeah. But he's nine. So? Well, doesn't that strike you as strange? No. Well, Andrew's interviewed once, and he remembers all the details. I mean, I always thought kids in this type of situation had problems remembering details, you know, like denying it's ever happened. Well, I suppose... But it is hard, isn't it? I mean, I'm not trying to put words into your mouth, but... Well, something doesn't feel right here, does it? I mean, if you've got the slightest doubt, Barbara, you've got to be sure before you take it one step further. Make sure you don't leave them panel pins too proud. No. Yes, you are. I keep having to knock yours further in. Yeah, well, I'm scared of smashing the glass. Pretty Leanne wasn't. Jack and Jackie's gonna go round and have a word about her. No one saw her do it. 
But we all know it was her. If that was me, I'd go round and ask for the cash. And for our labour charges. Tim. I can't believe nothing hasn't been done about her. There's no point in going on about it. Oh, so she just gets away with it? Well, some things are just not worth the hassle. Next time I'm in the bar, I'm going to have a word with her. Are you stay out of it? Yeah, well, I hate the thought of her doing something like that. She couldn't even be bothered who was on the other side. You just leave well alone. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yes, OK. Even if I have got little doubts, we've got to listen to children. We didn't listen in the past, and when we've seen what can happen. No, I'm not saying don't listen to them. I'm just saying you've got to be 100% sure that what Andrew's telling you is the truth. Simba could go to jail for a lot of years over this. Whether there's a court case or not, it isn't my decision. No, but, I mean, you could uh, talk to Andrew again, couldn't you? Barbara, um, you've met Sinbad more than once, haven't you? Yeah. And did you feel nervous or scared? No. And when you looked in his eyes, what did you see? Did you see someone cold or hard? No. You didn't see it because it wasn't there. <laughs> he's not some kind of sex beast. He's a, he's a caring, loving man. That's what you felt. And that's what Andrew's latched on to. Deep down inside, you must know that. Look, I can't promise anything. But I'll do some thinking. Lots of thinking. Oh, right. But it's all piling up around him, you know, fingers pointing for all sorts of nonsense. If it's bad or nasty, Simbad must have done it. What do you mean? Well, you know, like this internet pornography nonsense. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine how that looked alongside all the business with Andrew? Yeah, I can. But you see, if you've got doubts about Andrew's story, well, the police will probably forget about the internet stuff. Do you reckon? Well... See you, Barbara. Thanks. Mrs. Corkill. I didn't know anything about internet pornography. What? All you've done is confirm for me that Sinbad is a real dark horse and a disgusting one at that. No, it's not like that. You come round here and try and persuade me to talk to Andrew and the police. Stick up for someone who's got porn and molests a kid. Barbara, listen. No, you listen, love. Andrew will be going to court. Cos I'll be supporting him all the way. And not just for him, but for any other kid who might just get abused by your trusted friend. Here you go, mate. Oh, well, cheers. Here's your hammer. Oops, sir. So what do you reckon? Any streaks? No, no, you've done a good job there. I think Jackie will be made up. Where's the little fella? He's having a kip in there. Oh, one little streak. Oh. Oh, Ruby Hill! Hey, can you keep it under control? Well, it's not a it. Her name's Ruby. Anthony! Hey, missus, can you keep him under control? Oh, he couldn't help it. Well, when he's hanging round, he has to stay in. No, he doesn't. I trust you, Simbad. If I have to tell you again, it's up the stairs, my lad. He hasn't done nothing, now. I wish they'd never moved here. What do you think he's going to do, eh? All right, Tim, leave it. No, I'm fed up of it. What are you scared of? You don't even know him? That's the problem. We don't know him, so how can we trust him? <sighs> Look, I normally wouldn't take sides, but with something like this, you've got to. Well, what do you want me to do, eh? Stay in the house? I've just got to do what I think's right to protect my grandchild. I'd protect any kid. I have done. I'd lay me life on the line for one. Why won't anyone believe me, eh? Around me. What did you go there for? I was just trying to put your case to it. Why don't you come with me? Are you serious? He is not going to be Godfather, OK? I reckon he really fancies you. Straight up. These people can be dangerous, Rach. We've got to think of our bet. Me and you, we're like brothers. Well, that doesn't count for much. You ran off with your brother's fiance, remember? That's Brookside tomorrow at 8. Tonight on 4, Britain's top referee who risks the wrath of thousands in football stories later on at 10. Up next, though, central locking at home, the key to a better design.
Hey, yeah. Busy? I'll just write the letters to Mandy, you know, see how Ed and Ruth are. What about you? Oh, yeah, I'm up the wall with the petrol deliveries to take care of, you know. Listen, Sid. Well, look, I'll tell you what. Why don't I make you a nice cup, eh? You can rest your weary bones, eh? Do you fancy a sarnie? Um... Jack, honestly, I don't mind. Oh, I'll do them. Hey, um, let me stay is one thing, but, you know, leaving Will's here for me to mind, well, that, that's the tops in trust as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, well, me and Jimmy both trust you, but y you can't, um, get your hopes up too soon. Yeah, I know, but, you know, for the first time since all this business started with Andrew, I feel stronger. You know, even a little bit more confident that I'll be able to sort it out. I don't know how yet, like, I'm gonna work on that. Anyway, better get another piece of paper. Oh, you're up, are you? Gotta make the most of them, haven't I? I thought you and Clint were on a sponsor loving. I've been seeing for months now. I hate that. It's like going out with a sailor. What, you mean as opposed to going out with someone like Clint who sails a boat round the Med? Oh, that's mouth pants. It's OK, Rach. Oh, you better lay off. She's bound to be a bit upset with him going away. <sighs> OK, then. Kid gloves till he gets back. Right, I'm ready. Yeah, same here. Are you sure you want to bring Beth? Positive. It's five years today, and I want it to be as much part of her life as it is ours. Right. OK, then, let's get going. Oh, hey, I'm not being funny, but have you got any tissue, just in case there's any tears? Last person to drive here like this was me, Mum. I'll to bath you next time. I'm not asking to miss you, you know. You have to phone every day. We won't be able to once we're sailing. Well, I'll just dream of you. Jack and Jackie will dream about our Robbie. Um. I mean, she does fancy him, doesn't she? Yeah, but... What? It's not that long since you broke up with Nathan, is it? Does he fancy her? He saw them in Spain. Seemed like something could have been on the cards. Well, if you want to, dear, it's too late. She's leaving with you today. Wish neither of you were going. What's another word for confidence? What? Well, I've got confident this and that, and I just want another word. Um, positive, certain. Mm. I've told her everything, you know. Do you think it was wise putting it all down in a letter? Well, I think it might have been better to tell her face to face, you know. Done something stupid. And can you talk about it? I've got to. Well, this is a big shoulder, Jack. Cry away. Go on. Um, yesterday I went to see him. To see uh, Andrew's foster mother. Barbara, you went to see her? Yeah, I, I just wanted to help, you know, and we talked. Did you see Andrew? Hang on. It was just after you saying, you know, that it'd be good to be able to speak to him and Barbara, and I thought, well, if you can't speak to them, I can. Oh, God, sin. Well, what did she say? <laughs> well, oh, I'm really sorry. What happened? Well, she didn't want to let me in, and I persuaded her. And she wasn't having any of it, you know, about you being innocent, but I worked on her, and I won her over. She believed you? Well, she's got doubts about Andrew's story. I know she has, and... and she was thinking of maybe going to the police and, and, and getting them to get things dropped. You're joking? Hold on, sir. Maybe getting the charges dropped? Well, yeah, I think there was a chance of that, but... <sighs> I messed it up. How do you mean? I let it slip about the computer pornography. You told her about that? I thought she knew, Sin. Jack, the two separate charges, the busies wouldn't have told her anything about that. I know. You was good as put a noose around me neck. What did you go there for? I was just trying to put your case to it. But you don't do anything like that without discussing it with me first. I thought you'd probably say no. Well, of course I would. I'm really sorry, Sin. Jackie. I'm finished! No, don't just give up like that. Oh, I'm finished! <sighs> um, I better get back to work.
Do you remember this one? Yeah. Do you know why I had this one? I don't want you to go. I've got to, babe. I'll be walking the plank next time I see the skipper. I'm one half gonna miss you. You'll have a great time in those bars and those wet t-shirt contests. I'd never win one. Anyway, what about you and Jackie? I bet you'll be downtown. Concert Square, Matthew Street's all over. I'm not interested in other fellas. Stupid, isn't it? Both of us wanting to be together and we're going to be apart for ages. Why don't you come with me? Are you serious? There's a safe for sore eyes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to do around here to keep my hands busy? Oh, just enjoy your day off. No. I need to keep myself occupied. Stop me worrying about Simbad. Tell you what, I could give this place the once over. Are you sure I haven't got green fingers? No, I'm not too bad. Mm. Let's just sit and relax. No, I'm in the mood now. I've got a few ideas, providing there's a good incentive. I can think of something, but we'll have to be more careful. I mean, what are your problems with it? None. I'll get your gear then. You're right. I should get ready. No, no, I'm being stupid. I want to go, but there's work, there's money, there's flights. Those are only problems if you make them problems. You try and sort out work and I'll sort out a flight. Are you being mad here or what? Not just mad, crazy. I love you, Katie, and I want you to come with me. What can I get you? Yeah, mixed bean salad and a baked potato, please. Drink. Fresh orange. Oh, I've got a lovely chocolate fudge cake for court. Mm, no time. I'm fighting. Who? Yeah. St. Teresa's Club. What, well, all of them? No, boxing matches tomorrow. Oh, it's James. Yeah. I thought you'd fallen out with someone. <laughs> right, Jay. All right, mate. What goes on? Just about to eat. No work. Dinner break. <laughs> all the way here. I like the grub. Uh, yeah, whatever. I do. And I suppose there's always the chance that you could bump into uh, the sausage beauty. All right, so I was open to bump into her. <laughs> Lunchtime dates with supermodels, very cosy. I thought you'd have a red card in this place. No, I set myself off. And I don't think Bev would be happy with you here. I was only making a point and I wasn't violent, which is more than I can say for you all the time. Oh, well, what's that supposed to mean? Well, I heard that she put Jimmy Corker's window through. <sighs> you see, just because she looks a bit feisty, she gets this reputation. But I promise you, she's a kitten. Yeah. Well, the story is she did it. And I'm telling you, she's not capable of doing something so horrible. It might be better if you go. I mean, I'm in loco parentis here. I also people get barred for passing opinions, do they? I'm not having you slagging me sister off. You've got no evidence. OK, just chill, mate. I'll have half a log if it isn't too much trouble. Auntie, you named after. She was lovely, just like you. Weren't she, Daddy? She sure was. Place needs a bit of weeding. She'll be sorted out. I still think about her so much. Yeah, well, you're bound to. I still think about her, Tony. Even though it was all those years ago, it still feels so clear in my mind. Going to court. Me mum and Beth all trying to support each other. I'm right in the middle, Sinbad. Standing by them both. Yeah, well, you're not going to give Beth that sort of detail, are you? Well, maybe when she's old enough. But I want her to know that she's got someone she can always rely on when things are tough, someone who will never let her down. Yeah, well, that's what parents are for, isn't it? I don't mean us. I mean Sinbad. I still want him to be Beth's godfather. Rachel, let's not get into all this again, eh? He won't be there. I don't want to argue. Not on today of all days. Mick, you'll be careful of these two, won't you? These are for Matthew and Emily. I'll take extra care. Thank you. You know, I feel like doing something radical around here. <laughs> What, like nude garden? <laughs> no, well, not quite that <laughs> radical. No, I just, you know, maybe take the pergola down, you know, a bit of landscaping. Or... Oh, well, I'll take care of that. Well, I'll plan it with you and do the work. What? Are you serious? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll do anything for you, baby. <laughs> well, I don't want to impose on your time. No, you won't be. Anyway, it'll soon be our garden, or... That's something we've thought about, you know. What? Or whether we're going to be staying here or moving into my place. Oh, we don't need to make that decision yet. Yeah, I know, but it'll save a lot of unnecessary work here if we move into mine. Oh, well, maybe you should just tidy the garden up. No, 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 I've made my mind up. I'm going to sort this garden out for you while I'm in the mood. <laughs> Jack, never gonna believe what's happened. Oh, good goss. Better than that. I'm going to Spain with Clint. Oh, when? Today? No, soon. I can't believe it, Jack. You just asked me right out the blue. My knees went all weak and I said, yeah, I've had to come over and ask Nisha first. Oh, did she kick off? Yeah, but I reckon she was pretending to be cool about it, but who cares? Oh, Casey, I'm made up for you, but I can't get over you. I mean, you'd usually dilly dally for months over something like this. Well, it's like Leonardo and Casey and Titanic. You've got to live for the moment, haven't you? God, this day to you. Here's your fella. It, friends, if you don't mind. Guess what? I'm coming with you. To the airport? No, Spain. Yeah, I'll come. Clint invited me. Brilliant. Hi, right, Jack. Hiya. I'm meeting our kid near later, and you know you're coming with us. Do you mind if we join you? Eh, uh, no, what's up? Look, I better get back and see if he's managed to get me a flight. OK. Eh, uh, I'll see you before you go. Hold on. Katie. Everything OK? Yes, yeah, sound. You're going to have to phone your mum later, tell her that we've been here today. Yeah, maybe one of these days she'll bring Ruth up here. That place seems bad. Rich, I know there's a time and a place, but I don't want you coming away from here today thinking that he's coming to the christening. I know what I want and who I want for it. I suspected paedophile. It wouldn't be right. I don't care. Well, OK, and what if he has done it? What are you going to tell Beth in years to come? That a godfather's done time for fiddling with kids? I'm not discussing it here. That's all we need. What? You tell him to go away. No way. This is a private family thing. He is family. Well, if you don't tell him, I will. Don't you dare. He's got every right to be here. Have you had them pictures developed from the holiday yet? No, I've just transferred the video to you, kid. No, but you just want to freeze frame Katrina, don't you? Nah, no, no, there's an idea. Tell you, I'm still knocked out that she's, like, keen on me. Yeah, but with women, you can't let them think like that, mate. How do you mean? Well, you've got to make it seem like you're doing them a favour and not do the way around. Oh, I don't think so. Can you get out, please? I don't have any of this cool stuff. All women like to know they're appreciated. Just tell her. Yeah, and, um, how would you know? Because some of my best mates are women. The weather's still washed out there, you know. Yeah, I know. And if Casey's coming, why don't you join us? What? Right away? Well, Katie's nine ground. Um, oh, I've got things to do. You've got no one to answer to, have you? No, but. Just come over with us. Oh my God! What are they doing to him? Heal. That's better. Nice and neat now. Thanks for coming along. Mike? I think you're out of order turning up with some private family thing. He is my family. Well, you can call him what you want, cos I know what's coming next. He's family and he's going to be godfather. Well, you can forget it. What? You're not going to be godfather, OK? She should have told you. Don't listen to him. You see, you're coming in between me and her now. She trusts me. <laughs> well, that's off it said. Why? Cos she kicks off on me for being in the bathroom with my own daughter. Yet you're up on an abuse charge, you've got kiddie porn and you want to be godfather. It doesn't make sense. It isn't that simple. Well, I'll tell you what is simple, Rach. He is not going to be godfather, OK? I asked you to not discuss that here, didn't I? I can't stand it. My sister's grave. What are you going to do with that? Oh, I'll stick it on my wall next to Scooch and Five. I collect all sorts of posters. Oh? Oh, and hey, love, will you tell your sister to restrain herself from throwing any more bricks through my window? There we go again. You know, you've got the wrong idea about all Leanne. Well, she may pull the wool over your eyes, but she's a nasty piece of work. And I've got kids in my house, so you just tell her, lay off. And you sort of throw this brick, did you? I know it was here. Just a rumour, is it, then? 
You know, Ali Ann might call a spade a spade, but she's got a heart of gold. Heart of stone, you mean? Don't say that about her. Just give her the message, love, all right? You know, she'd never do anything like that. Sin! Sin! Hang on, mate. Hey, don't come any of that mate nonsense. I just wanted to explain. Explain what? So you joined the Ron Dixons and Leanne Powell to this world. I haven't joined them. Yeah, well, as good as. They don't trust me, and neither do you. Look, sin, I, I don't want it to be like this between us. Don't you? Well, you should have thought about that before you asked your Leo whether I touched him up. I never said it like that. Look, sin, this... It's all just gone out of proportion. And me and you, I mean, we're like brothers. Well, that doesn't count for much. You ran off with your brother's fiance, remember? Yeah, okay, cheap shot. But no matter what way you dress it up, the bottom line is you don't trust me 100%. And anything less than that doesn't make us mates. Ready for the off, mate? Yeah, just about. Listen, it's half letting them stay. Oh, no, don't worry about it. Get something for the baby, then. Nice one. I'll bring the bottle of brandy back next time. Cheers, mate. Well, at least there'll be a bit more space around while I'm gone. Mm. More space for Sir Row, you mean? We haven't spoken since you got back from the cemetery. What's going on? Sinbad turned up and there was a big argument. Oh, say no more. About what? It was a private conversation. You know what, Katie? It's a good job you are going. She might have come to her senses by the time you got back. I'm going to ignore that. Well, what's new? You've ignored everything else I say. Um, listen, we'd better go. Um, thanks for having us. See you and give us a ring. Will do. See ya. See ya. I'll eat mine in there where the atmosphere won't cool me past her. All right, Jay. You look busy. Oh, I've got plenty for him to do. <laughs> hey, uh, I think it was a good thing you decided with Simba the other day, you know. Fool's rush, innit? No, oh, man, you did the right thing. Yeah. And now I haven't got a job. Can't sign on. I'm my way to uni, so... You don't regret stepping up for him, do you? No. Sometimes you've just got to do what you think's right and face up to the consequences. Having no job being one of them. Well... That is, unless Susanna could help us out. What was that? Well, I was just wondering if you needed any staff for the restaurant. Yeah, another waiter would help. Is he serious? No, I'm very serious. I mean, good, reliable staff are hard to find, and you're on both. Hmm, OK. That's fine with me. Call back later, and we'll talk wages. <laughs> Safe, man. Nicky's going to be well chuffed. Oh, and Jay, start tonight. No problem, boss. <laughs> you're the boss now, then? Yeah. You're the... Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, love. I wasn't meaning to pry or anything. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It's just another nail in the coffin. What is? Oh, it's okay. Didn't think it was a good idea to write to Mandy anyway. Sin, I can't tell you how sorry I am about what I did. I'm over that, Jack. What difference does it make? No, really. And even if the busies listen to Barbara and they drop the abuse charts, you've still got me over the porn stuff, haven't you? That won't stick. No, I'm getting used to the fact that I'm going down. I'll be with real child abusers. Nonsense. The West's come in the prisons. You know what? The label will stick. It's on a Sweeney sex offender. It won't be like that. I'll be on the sex offenders register. No, there's been miscarriages of justice before. People appeal. It's over. Saying you've still got your family and your friends. Have I? Mike Dixon doesn't even want me to be godfather to his little one. Didn't even want me at Beth Jordash's grave. I mean, what's the point? Don't think like that. Oh. For Mandy, you know. She doesn't want to know. What? I tried to explain, but she wouldn't listen. Doesn't want to see me. Just want to let me see Ruth. I've lost my little girl. Everything I had in the world, gone.
I reckon he really fancies you. Oh, Casey, that's just a guess. Clint told me. Straight up. Well, that's good ass. And since when did you need me to tell you somebody fancied you? Oh, it's too short notice. Clint can get you to flight. That was what Robbie was whispering to me before. Oh, was he, man? Are you ready to go, then? Yeah. Mm. See you. See ya. You want to come persuade you the last minute? I wish you had a good time. No, oh, thanks anyway. Suit yourself. Casey! Just doing a drink for yourself, then, eh? Well, seeing as you're not talking, you make sure you're listening. You know when them christening invitations go out? Make sure one doesn't go to the corkers with Sinbad's name on it. Cos never mind Godfather, he won't be coming. He'll be there. What are you trying to prove, but Rachel? I trust him. Rachel, all people are going to see is that we're supporting a paedophile. Which he's not. Tempers could get out of hand. I mean, look at the corkers window going through. Is that what you want happening here? Of course not. Well, then, if we try and prove a point by sticking by a pave, people are going to tar us with the same brush. Our windows could get put in. I don't care about bigots and bullies. These people can be dangerous, Rach. We've got to think of our Beth. I am doing. So see sense and... Mike, I do understand how people feel about child abusers. Me, of all people, understands that. But this is about trust and being fair. Oh, well, you didn't trust me, did you? Oh, no. You shared your little secrets with Sinbad before the wedding, but not me. In fact, you'd have probably left him on his own with Beth, but not me. I'm sticking by him. And when Beth's christened, it'll be Sinbad who steps up to be her godfather, OK? Something, anything that might have triggered some kind of retaliation. I was wondering if you wanted to come. Okay. Look how many times do I have to apologise, Sin? Eh, uh, it's from the uni. Oh, what's going on over there? Your garage sale, by the looks of it. You've been selling your stuff off behind her back. Yeah. You could put it like that. We're only shooting a commercial tomorrow. <laughs> And that's Friday at 8. Next tonight on 4, the stars tell it like it is inside Celebrity Rehab. saying that since 7 o'clock this morning. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Staff for horses. Oh, do I have to pay you more for that? You can pay me in kind. <laughs> <laughs> it's OK, I'll get it. Oh, I could get used to this. <laughs> All right, mate. OK, mate. Ten bucks, is it? Yeah, five bucks of each. Just dump them on the path, will you, please? Thanks. Mick, who's that? Just a fella dropping some stuff off. Don't worry, I'll sort it. Sort what? Oh, not more than you. I promised I'd sort your garden, didn't I? Oh, yes, but... No uh... buts. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Drop <them. laughs> Jimmy! Jimmy! Hey? I've been shouting you for the last ten minutes. I'm cleaning up. Again? The place is a mess. Have you got any washing? It's all done. What? Did it last night after you went up. Jimmy, are you feel no race? How do you mean? Well, you know, these tablets, do you feel they're making a difference? No, I'm sound, never better. And you would tell me, wouldn't you, if you didn't feel all right? Yeah, yeah, of course I would. All right. Come on in, sir. Have you seen me coat? Under the stairs, give us them. Where are you going? Oh, I've got to go down to the police station and get a date with a detective. Why, what's up? Oh, I'm not serious. It's just that he's got to make sure I don't do a run at Timbuktu. Listen, if you want any company, I don't have to be in work for another hour, you know. No, no. Thanks for the offer, Jack, but I'll be all right. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. 
If you're going out, I'm going to make a start on that extension. What do you mean, make a start? You know, clear the space and that. Oh, you can't do this. This is all Lindsay's stuff from next door. So? See you, Sin. No, she'll want to do it herself, Jimmy. No, she'd have done it by now, wouldn't she? Hey, it's been piled up here for six months. Sin. Hang on, Sin. Sin, wait, wait. What do you want? Nothing, just... Let's see how things are going, you know. Yeah, like you give a toss. Well, you know I do. Yeah, well, you got a funny way of showing it. Well, don't walk away, mate. What I'm to ask the other week, it was heat of the moment stuff. I know as well as you do that you never laid a finger on Andrew. No, but I might have laid a finger on Leo. Oh, look how many times do you have to apologise, Sin? I said one stupid thing, is that it? You're never going to let me forget it? No, never. See ya. Jerome. Stop it. <laughs> Come on, wake up. Get lost. Please, I promised me now we tidy around for that. Yeah, you promised, so you tidy. Come on, I'll make it worth your while. He's Nicky, I'm back I wouldn't get into quarters of ten. Oh, poor you. <laughs> Will you just get off? <laughs> I'll soon wake up. <laughs> Morning. How are you, Ray? It's a letter for you. We open it for a secretary. I haven't got the energy. <laughs> Eh, hey, it's from the uni. That's it, Ian. You know, you open it for us. Fingers crossed, eh? Oh, no. What? Get in. What? Get in. You got a place? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Is this going to take long? Possibly. I thought I could just show me face and then get off. Well, what is this? Is anyone going to tell me what's going on? Can you believe it? I've got on the course that I want and everything. I knew you'd get in. I just have to make sure that I pass now, don't I? Oh, yeah, with your A-levels, you're walking. You know, I think I've forgotten how to write an essay. <laughs> University, me, eh? My mum's going to be made up. It's a shame your dad's not still around, eh? I know, yeah. When I think of all the arguments that we used to have. About what? About this. He was desperate for me to go to uni, but I was having none of it. Why? Well, I thought it was a waste of time, didn't I? I mean, why spend three years getting all kinds of qualifications when you're probably going to end up on the dole anyway? So what's changed? You know, I don't know. <laughs> me, I suppose. I think that maybe you can change the way people think, but only if you're on the inside. And if I get this degree, at least it might make people, I don't know, sit up and listen. Me, I mean, very own Martin Luther King Day. Who knows? Is that proud of you? Come here, uni boy. <laughs> Do you like it? It's all right. All right? It cost me a fortune. In 1973. Oh, well, if you're going to be like that, I'll take it home again. Mum! Stephen, when you've finished examining yourself in the mirror, you can put the lamp back in the car. Well, it just took it out. Diane doesn't like it. I didn't say that, Mum. I just don't think it goes in this room. Then get a new shade. Give it a coat of paint. Have you never watched Changing Rooms? I suppose I could do something with it. Where are you going? Out. Where? Nowhere. I know where. Troner's to... Will you stop calling it that? That's where he usually goes when he's going nowhere. Is she the one who wears the short skirts? Yeah. Right, I'll see you later. I won't be long. See ya. Good luck. Right, let's have a look at this shade. There you are. Wonderful. After all these years, there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> uh, a trestle table? You doing the spa decorating? No, no, no. Oh, right, sir. Uh, what do you want it for, then? Housework. What kind of housework? All will be revealed in time, Raymundo Mondo. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> well, I'll see if I can dig it out, then. But... I'm arresting you for committing an act of gross indecency with a child under 14 years of age. You're arresting me? You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence. Uncle, how many times have I got to tell you that I haven't done anything? Something you later rely on in court. Anything you do say, you may be given in evidence. Yeah, I'm in. I've got a place. <laughs> Sociology. Yeah. Like father, like son, eh? Thanks, Mum. Listen, I'm gonna have to go. Nicky's done me something to eat. 
Yeah, I love you too. See you later. So. Oh, I'm starving. So, what did you say? She made up, yeah. Wanted to take me for a celebration bevy. I was thinking about that myself. Well, don't you think we should cut back on spends? You've only been on your course five minutes. You worrying about your student loan already? <laughs> well, I tell you what, this means we're going to definitely have to move out. Why? <laughs> because we're going to be up to our eyeballs in work. There's no way we're going to be able to study here. It's not that bad. No, it's decided for us. We're moving out. Oh, yeah. How long have you been there? Well, I've only just come in. So what can I do for you? Um, do you have a cup of tea? No, sir. I've got to get back to ours. Just about tomorrow. What about it? I've got a fight in youth against some lad from Witness. Oh, yeah? There'll be loads there. My mum and dad, a few of my mates and that. Sounds good. So what can I do for you? Well, I know you said you were into boxing, so... Go on. I was wondering if you wanted to come. OK. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. I just thought you might be interested. Don't worry if you've got something else. No big deal. I want to come. What? I said, yeah. Oh, brilliant. Perhaps we could go for a drink or something afterwards. Is that what everyone's doing? Um, no, I don't know. Actually, I just... Hello, Lewis. How are you? That's a lovely smile. Have you got your jumper off? See you, Kat. Yeah. Right, I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it anyway. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, 8 o'clock. See ya. Ta-ra. Well, then. So, what's this all in aid of? Nothing. Just having a bit of a clear out, you know. Hey, Jay. <laughs> See, miss? <laughs> Reckon this might come in useful. <laughs> Just come with batteries. How much for the chest of drawers, mate? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, it's just taking up space. You can have it. Oh, race. What do you reckon? It's dodgy. That's what I was thinking. It must be no one gives stuff away for nothing. I'd be a little bit of a So, um, uh, do you want me to take it over to yours? Um, no, I think we'll leave it. Thanks, mate. Oh. I don't know what else I can say, so... Oh, Apologise enough times. I don't know about that. Oh, Nick, come on, this is ridiculous. He should be relying on his friends at the moment, not pushing them away. Uh -huh. The thing is, how can I convince him that I'm behind him all the way if he refuses to even speak to me? Ah, what's going on over there? Your garage sale, by the looks of it. Afternoon! All right, Ray. Where well, should we go over? Have a look. You're not going to find anything amongst the court or cast eh? No, I don't know. Might find an antique. Jackie's got a penchant for things that have gone out of fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. Raymundo. Hey, yeah, Kate, what do you think of that? Bought that from next door. Should keep the rain off. It's brilliant. Ah, oh, full marks to you, James. You know that. Now I get the picture. This is what I call using your noggin. Yeah, well, I haven't got rid of much so far. Oh, well, come on, give it time, James, give it time. No, it's like, when I tell them it's for nothing, right? They don't want to know, they think I'm trying to rip them off. For nothing? Y y you're giving it away? Hmm. Oh, well, you should have said. <laughs> I think that's where you're going wrong. Now, Mr Sweeney was first interviewed on Friday the 19th of May 2000 on suspicion of committing an act of gross indecency with a child under 14 years of age. He was questioned at this police station and bailed whilst further inquiries were made. He's answered his bail today, that is, the 28th of July 2000, and has been arrested for the same offence. Mr Sweeney, you have the right to an independent solicitor free of charge. I believe there's somebody on the way? You have the right to one telephone call to tell somebody you've been arrested and you have the right to consult the codes of practice. If you do not wish to do so now, you may do so at any other time whilst detained in the station. Detained? You've been arrested, Mr Sweeney. You can't leave the station. I haven't come for the children. Is Katrina around? Yeah, hang on. Jean? Yeah? Visitor for you. Hi, oh, yeah. Hi, Alan. I've got some news. Go on. It's about gossages. They don't want us anymore. 
we find a couple more average sellers? No. Then what? Is it the pitch of the black eye? Gossages, they like the campaign so much that uh, they've decided to go bigger. Bigger than a billboard? I think you may have to sit down. Oh, what, Tony? They've decided to move into television. Ah! Hang on, hang on. Oh, my God, Mickey, oh, my God. I can't believe it. No, hang on, hang on. You haven't heard the best yet. We're only shooting a commercial tomorrow. Ah! Keep it oh, straight. I told you. He's got a life of his no, own. Oh, 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 it's going to tip over. <laughs> well, I guess he's got to clear that up now. I told you I couldn't steer a wheel, Barrett. I'll use a lawnmower. I'll do the weeding. Well, luckily, I've got a big, strong man to do it all for mm. me. Oh, yeah. That's a right down. <gasps> no. I want just for half an hour to do it. Mm, someone's got to clear all that up. <laughs> <laughs> How much for these? Uh, what is it you've got, love? 20p for the two. I'll give you 10. Yeah, done. Come on. Thank you. Thanks, love. You turned my lamp down, but you're happy to root through your neighbour's cast-offs. I'm only having a look. You don't know where they've all been. Hey, they look nice. Let's have a look. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, yes. Open them up with us. Let's have a look at the size. I reckon they might fit our front room. Thank you, Mr. Sweeney. We just need a set of prints. Hi. Hi. Sorry I'm late. They've arrested me. Is this somewhere my client and I can go? We need five minutes. <sighs> hmm. You know, somehow I just can't see you in that. Oh! Darren! What are you doing here? I'm just dropping off a prescription across the road. Oh. You're not buying then? Oh, oh, no. No, no, I was, I was just... <laughs> How are you? Fine. How are you? Fine. Oh, I must look terrible. I've been in the garden all morning. No, you look great. Do I? Have you done something to your hair? And what are you two whispering about? I've got something we could take onto the antiques road, Jim. <laughs> No, not yet, not quite. You're going to have to tell me how deep you want them flower beds. Oh, I'll come back now. Mick's doing the garden. Yeah, I gathered. Uh, how are you? I haven't seen you in a while. Never been happier. Good. I have to try and get in and see you, Doc. I'm still interested in going ahead with that operation that we uh, talked about. Right, whatever. Just to head back, eh? Mm. Right. Um, I'll make that appointment. Great. See you, mate. I'll see you. Well, I might as well, mightn't I? I mean, we both agreed that's what we want. Um, oh, yeah. Hi, hi. Yeah, hi. I'm going to ask him how much. Leave it to me. Mr. Corkill. James. Uh, how much for these? Uh, I think I had those priced to three quid. What? For the lot? Three quid? All right, then, two. My God. One fifty, and that's my final offer. Done. He has been. Quick, I pay the man before he changes his mind. Thanks, love. Right, I just need to clarify a couple of things in my notes. You said you met Andrew through your voluntary work at the deaf school. Yeah. Why him? Well, he was on his own. The other kids have families. On his own? In a children's home. Right, I'll need the address. Well, they've moved. Uh, they've been fostered him and his brother. Since the accusation? No, before. Have you managed to come up with any reason why Andrew might make an accusation like this against you? No. You never touched him? No. Even by accident? Well, you don't do something like that accidentally, do you? Well, what about when you played games with him? Did anything ever happen that could have been misconstrued? No. Did you ever smack him? No. Tell him off? No, what is this? I mean, are you trying to say that I did it? Of course not. I mean, call me old-fashioned, but I thought you were supposed to be on my side. I'm just looking for something... Anything that might have triggered some kind of retaliation? There's nothing. You know, we got on dead well. We were mates, that's what I, I can't get my head around. I don't know why he suddenly decided to accuse me. I can't understand why he's done it. All I ever did was feel sorry for him and try to help him. And I've ended up getting arrested for something I didn't do. I'm innocent. I swear on my little girl's life, I didn't do it. I'm gonna be on the tally. 
You lucky cow. I'm going to be on the telly. I can't believe it. What do you reckon the advert's going to be about? Oh, God, I've got so much to do before tomorrow. Like what? My hair, manicure, pedicure. Oh, Trina's going to see your feet. Do you put me in sandals? I'll have to have a body wrap first thing. How long do you reckon it'll take to film? God, I don't know. Max reckons it'll go on till dead late. Oh, no. I've completely forgot. Forgot what? Tomorrow's Steve. Steve? He's got a fight. I promise I'll go and watch him. Well, you can't. You're filming an advert. You're going to be on the telly. What am I going to do? Gee, there's nothing you can do. You're just going to have to tell him. So, what happens now? They may re-interview you. They may not. And what then? Then you'll be charged. <sighs> right. Then they'll make a decision on whether or not you can go home. And they can keep me in? If they feel they've got good enough reason. This is all very much par for the course. Often cases like this never make it through the courts, especially as it's just Andrew's word against yours. I thought I'd be going home. You might be. No. Holden's been after me for weeks. He's got me now. There's no way he's going to let me go. Nearly done now. Just these two. That's it. What do you reckon? Beautiful. £1.50. I can't get over it. Perfect fit. They could have been made for this window. What do you reckon, Steve? Good. Good? They found bloody tastic. Well, all I can say is that Lindsay, whatever she's called, is a fool. We're obviously not the only ones desperate for money. Aye, aye. Raise yourself, Stephen. You've got a visitor. Well, at least she's dressed this time, instead of showing all next week's washing. Katrina, come in here. Looks like she can't keep away from you. Do you want me to get her? No. Do I look OK? You're gorgeous. All right. Oh, yeah. Do you want to come in? I can't. I've been a call around for a minute. It's about tomorrow. Tomorrow. He's taking well, her out after the fight. I can't come. How come? Well, Max called in and gossips are being on. They're going to film us for the telly. All right. Congratulations. They're probably going to do it tomorrow, you see. It's going to go on till dead late. Well, that's what Max says anyway. Yeah, he would. Who's Max again? I can't believe it. Mr. Sausage. He used to live over the road. Marty reckons he's after him anyway. I'm sorry, but I'll have to come. Troll Oh, well, I suppose I'll see you around then. Good luck. What for? The fight. Try not to get knocked out. Yeah, I will. See ya. See ya. You all right, Steve? She blew me out. No, she didn't. She's working, that's all. Well, that's it now. Don't you go demeaning yourself chasing after her. There are plenty more pebbles on the beach. If you say so. Where are you going, Steve? To get changed. Going for a run. Thomas Henry Edward Sweeney, you are charged that on the 19th of April 2000, you indecently assaulted Andrew Taylor, a child under 14 years of age, contrary to section 15.2 of the Sexual Offences Act 1956. Have you anything to say? I didn't do it. Just sign at the bottom. You'll be remanded into custody to appear before court tomorrow morning. I've decided not to release you on bail. I think there are substantial grounds to believe you would jeopardise the investigation of this inquiry by interfering with witnesses. Mr. Holden. Detective Inspector. Detective Inspector. Mr. Sweeney has made absolutely no contact with any of the witnesses involved in this investigation so far. What makes you think he's going to approach them now? Mr. Sweeney's landlady, a Mrs. Jackie Corkill, spent the afternoon trying to persuade Barbara Newton of his innocence two days ago. I had nothing to do with that, really. He knows he'd be jeopardising his case if he went anywhere near Andrew or his family. Well, I wish I had your faith in Mr. Sweeney. Unfortunately, I don't. The original decision stands. He'll be detained in police custody. Why? I didn't do anything to appear in court tomorrow. Tell him, will you? I'm innocent! Go on, then. How much did you make? 25. 27. 32. 14 pounds and 32p. It's not bad. I mean, well, it's better than giving it all away for nothing, isn't it? You're right. I'll tell you something, Ray. Not only has it cleared a bit of a space, but I've also made a few bob into the bargain for our Lindsay as well. 
Nice surprise for when she gets back. Surprise? Yeah. Well, it's all their stuff. Well, it was all their stuff. She, uh, she does know that you're selling it off. No. Well, she's down south, isn't she? Put a couple of days with Carly and her mate. Bit of a break. She knows nothing about it. Not a sausage. Hang on. You've been selling her stuff off behind her back? Yeah. You could put it like that. But what the hell for? She's gonna go mad. Oh, our Lindsay won't mind. She hasn't looked at it for months. Well, that's not the point. It, it, it's probably all she's got. Right, I'm gonna dump this load of rubbish. No one's gonna wanna buy that, are they? No. Hey, 14 pounds for an afternoon's work. Not bad, Raymondo. Not bad at all. <laughs> I'll see you in court in the morning, OK? OK. We'll see if we can grab a few minutes before. I know it all seems pretty hopeless at the moment, but please try not to worry. There's a long way to go. An awful lot can happen over the next few weeks. Have you got my number? Um. There you go. Bring me any time. See you tomorrow. See you. some sleep. Simba's in court this morning and I really want to go. Commercial. You and Katrina. I feel sick. Oh, Maxwell, I'm loving your special sausage. Got to give him bail. Got to. Keep it where you have it for the moment of truth. Who will be the first to fill the nation's big elbow? One green bottle falls from the shelf in Big Brother. Next, here on Four. Draws yesterday. Do you think Mick might have it? Jimmy, do you think Simba's passport could be over at number five? How do I know? It's not going anywhere, is he? Well, you might show a bit more concern. He's the best mate you'll ever have. The only mate if you carry on like this. Oh. Where are the soda crystals? How should I know? I'm up to my eyes here. I can't believe the press in charge. Has something fancy one in his passport? Do you know? I'm gonna do the drains before I paint that fence. You're gonna get washed and changed for court. Yes. God help him. Fine, but you're not taking the baby. I wasn't going to. It's a call room, not a crash. It's stuck then, aren't you? Yeah, well, I needn't be if you'd swap your shift. Forget it. Oh, I'll just leave her here then, shall I? Give her a box of matches to play with. Naughty Daddy's been horrible again, isn't he? I don't know what to cut next, this or the atmosphere. Sorry, Auntie. I'll finish her off, love. You get them with yours. Thanks. Morning. Hello, little one. How are you? You'll have to do your own, love. Fair dues. Uh, anyone fancy a fresh brew? 
Hey, yeah, go ahead. Right, you're out. Anthea, can I ask a favour? Of course. I wouldn't ask, only I'm desperate. You know, I'll help if I can. Simba's in court this morning and I really want to go. What? I'd be really grateful. Uh, I know you've got a blind spot for the local pervert, but... Who do you think you are? Look, it's no use pretending. What gives you the right to call people? Oh, yeah. You just want to palm off my granddaughter so you can go gallivanting. Oh, sorry, I keep forgetting your granddad of the year. Rachel. Rachel what? You've got three grandchildren. Josh doesn't know if he's coming or going and Harry was flogged to the next door neighbour, so don't you ever lecture me about Beth. Nice wife you got there, Michael. Leave it, Ron. Uh, I think I'm entitled to my own opinion in my own home. Dad! Do you think we live here by choice? You didn't mean that, love. When do you need to get off? I said I'd be at Jackie's for ten. Well, so you've already arranged it? I don't want to let him down. He's never let me down. I know. I'll take it for a walk. We'll have a lovely time, won't we, sweetheart? really appreciate it. Simba's only got me in the car kills. No, he hasn't. She's forgetting about the juvenile delinquent who dosses out in Mick Johnson's garage, Tinhead. Shut up, Ron. And what about you, Michael? Well, are you a man or a mouse? You want to tell that wife of yours a few on truth? Show her who's the boss? I said, shut up, Ron. Are you sure this top's not too tight? You'll be getting changed into a costume anyway, won't you? Yeah, but we'll look right. You're gonna look fat and ugly as per usual. Pass them drawing pins, please. Can we run through it again? Some of us got work to do, you know. The drawing pins. I'm sorry, please, Nick. Right. Mmm. Something smells good. It's the gossages. There's something different about them. You suppose to sniff the air? Pork and apple. Now, open wide. Oh, way! Well, look at the state of that. Nicky! Oh, Maxwell, I'm loving your special sausage. I feel sick. Not surprised. Pork and apple sounds absolutely hanging. Um, do you want to sit down, love, have a cup of tea? No, thanks. I'll just clean my teeth. Oh. <laughs> um, Jimmy, the taxi's here! Jimmy! All right, I'm coming, aren't I? That's me told. I still can't believe this is happening. I could cut my tongue out. Oh, I think I'd know you're only trying to help. I just assumed Barbara knew, and the look on her face when I told her. Mm, I call her Christmas as it come. You were being a true friend. Yeah, well, you can't explain to people if they don't know her. She ruined his life. Oh, God, love, I hope not. Bad memories. Nightmares. Simba had risked everything for us so that we'd be safe. I know, love. This hasn't been a happy house. I know my dad was a bad person, but I still loved him. Of course she did. Simba's the dad I've never had. <laughs> Jimmy, I thought you were putting a suit on. Hi, love. Hiya. Hey, yeah. You'll have to stay like that now. Oh, love. <laughs> You know, not Gracie Marcus. Me and the doc. Jimmy, Simbat's relying on us today and you look a holy show. This has upset my plans. I should be doing me fence. Doing it or sitting on us. Go on. Go on. Now, the books are in the bag, right? Harry's obsessed with not now Bernard. Emma's a bit loose, so go easy on the food. <laughs> yeah, well, I can cope. What's the rush? You need to find your motivation. I'll be back about 4.30. Poor old Katrina. How will she manage? Bye-bye. These scripts, you know, they're all words. No pictures. You're such a woman's woman, aren't you? No wonder your female friends around here in droves. <laughs> Will the accused please rise and state his name? Thomas Sweeney. And address? 10 Brookside Close. 
Your worships, at this moment, Mr. Sweeney does not wish to enter a plea. We request an adjournment to enable me to take instructions from Mr. Sweeney. Yeah, okay. Look at him. Morning. Where's Katrina? Oh, she's having a new bowel fitted. In fact, I think you might need to strap the toilet to your roof rack. Well, that's a shame. She should just relax and enjoy it. Should I tell her near that? You look very trendy. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to go through your lines with you? No, no, I think I'm just about there. <laughs> ah, my leading lady. Oh, Trini, you look even worse. Can I get you a glass of water? I'll be all right in a minute. Aren't you nervous? More excited than anything else. Right. Uh, Sheila Hancock, she was on the radio saying she throws up before every performance, so <laughs> you're in good company. Sheila who? You know, she's done all kinds. She's married to Inspector Morse. Oh. Right, well, uh, shall we make tracks? Oh, you're going to be fine, Trini. <laughs> Oh, I feel sick. Oh, try and have a little beer. And you two break a leg? <laughs> no, thanks. I thought you had neck braces, you remember. <laughs> <laughs> Where does you get them from? <laughs> right, well, see you after the shoot. <laughs> Finally, if it pleases your worships, Mr Sweeney will agree to avoid all further contact with Andrew Taylor, his home and his school. Mr Sweeney is also willing to surrender his passport and accept any conditions your worships may place on his bail. We've got to give him bail. We've got to. <laughs> Are you okay? Far from it. You'll be fine. Okay, first positions for a take, please. Rolling up. Good luck. And action. Morning. Mmm, <laughs> something smells good. It's the gossages. Mmm, smells different. That's because the pork and apple. Apple? Open wide. Mmm. Like them. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, must have been the grisly bit. <laughs> Somebody got a tissue? It's only a bit of ham. Just leave what you can't manage. You should try and eat something. I'll just have another cup of tea. At least they've given you bail. Yeah, they're all hard. Listen, they wouldn't have sent you home if they thought you were guilty. Jackie's right. Means nothing, Bale. And what would you know? You didn't take a blind bit of notice in that court. He is on a list. And I'm not just talking perverts. Jimmy! Take the notice, love. He's not himself. See, it's all about man hours, isn't it? Hey? Do you understand what I'm saying? Paperwork, accountability. Yes, thank you very much, Jeremy Paxman. Um, I'm sure you won't have a buzzy love. Listen, they've spent time and money on him. They want a conviction. Eat your tea, Jimmy. Do you understand what I'm saying? A return on their investment. No, he's right, yeah. And the police, they're like terriers. Oh, ah, yeah. I'm telling you. Once it's gone this far, there's no going back. He's had it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm holding you back. No, you're not. Rubbish, I'm so wooden. As if. You just got into your stride when they called a tea break. You know my inflections? Do you think it's a bit too monotone? No, but you've got to watch your voice. It's a little bit flat. Right. And when you're saying your lines, imagine it's just us two having a chat. What, you mean more conversational? Exactly. <laughs> you're terrific, you are, you know. You... I'd say that acting is your forte. All I know is I'm having a ball. Just try to forget the cameras there. Mm, right. And when you're sniffing the sausages, just relax and... You have a go. OK. Perfect. Right. It's all about having a good time. Oh, well, I'm having that all right. <laughs> <laughs> hey. How did Sinbad go on? 
released him on bail. Ooh, so unfair. Ooh. They must think he's got a case to answer, Rach. Or they'd have thrown it out of court. It doesn't work like that. And thanks for all your support. I don't know what I'd do without you. I've nearly finished the hem. Oh, he's innocent, Anthea. So the book at him, did they? If you must know, they gave him bail. Only because the prison's a chocker. No. He asked me out, actually. Oh, right. What did you say? I pretended me and you in an item. Hope you don't mind. What? Enterprise or just wishful thinking? <laughs> I just didn't want to go on the wrong side of him. Oh, well, very wise. <laughs> he said we're loads better after every take. OK, let's set up for a take, please. Roll up, please. And action. Something smells good. It's the gossages. Hmm, it smells different. That's because the pork and apple. Apple? Open wide. Mmm. Like them? I love them. I love you. <gasps> the gossages, they'll be ruined. Darling, gossages taste great hot or cold. Cut. I said cut. You were wonderful. <laughs> um, Max, I think you can let go now. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> hey, mate. I'm sorry. What for? Jackie says I was out of order. Well, you're hardly Samaritan material, but at least you're honest. You know I'm right. Yeah, well, it's like you say. Get to a point where you can't back down, can you? You're in their system. They've got your name. And your number. And my passport. What do you make of Mick, eh? Asking Leo whether I touched them. Mick's car is filthy. Well, you would have been gutted, wouldn't you, if he'd have doubted you like that? You can't see anything through that windscreen. What does Jackie say, man? Does she think I overreacted, you know, about Mick? Jackie says you're innocent. And Mick wants his head testing. She's a rocky old Jackie. Do you know something, Sin? You've got to keep the germs at bay. Otherwise, the words, they get contaminated. See? So, is he going to sell his ladders then, or what? <laughs> Joke? I don't like jokes. And I don't like the company you keep. Dad, will you just leave it? I thought we were going to Southport. It's boiling out. Yeah, it'll be chilly later. Help yourself to those lamb chops. They'll only go to waste. Thanks. And thanks for looking after Beth. That's what grandmas are for. You three have a nice family time together. Sinbad wouldn't want you upset. Flaming Sinbad. I tell you what, them judges smelt a rat, all right. That's why they've only bailed him. You don't know what you're talking about. They shook for one of them tracking devices to his ear and they keep tabs on him. Tell him. Leave it, Ron. Listen, Ray, job you're going to see sense now, cos there's no way my little Beth is going to have a child abuser as a godparent. Out. It's got nothing to do with you. She's my baby, and as far as I'm concerned, he's my dad. And, uh, well, probably next year. What are you doing now? Cleaning my wheelbarrow. Hey. Put your washing in. Uh, I don't uh, I don't need to sound ungrateful. Don't be soft. How are you feeling? <sighs> like I'm losing the plot, you know? In mean, one minute I'm helping out in a classroom and Jimmy! I'll um I'll go get a bath. It's time to talk, yes. Jimmy Lord, do me a favour, will you, and um, go to the shops? <laughs> I haven't got time for shopping. Well, make time. I need some washing powder, a pint of milk and a Madeira key. I've got me cleaning to do. Oh, you could get some of that nice bleach that you use like it's going out of fashion. I'll just finish the batter. Jimmy! You won't. You'll do it now. Oh, it's all right. Take it easy. Take it easy. All right. Go on. Easy, oh, take it easy. Mind. Just go on. When you'll be able to take your out of the city and onto the motorway, still
still many years ahead. Hiya, Max. Hi. How did it go? Oh, we wrapped about half an hour ago. You are? We finished. Oh. Oh, Katrina, she was amazing. Oh, we shouldn't park a custard then. What? Be sick. No, no, oh, she's a complete natural. Oh, brilliant. So when's the ad going to be on telly? In about ten weeks' time. Oh, can't wait. And I'll just get on with you snogging. Oh, we just about managed that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, there he is. Right, well, I'll, uh, I'll see you later. Yeah, see you, sausage. Okay. <laughs> What are you looking for? Paracetamol. I thought you might have followed me up to see how I was. Wanted to do on Little House of the Prairie, you mean? No, that husbands do when they're worried about their wives. Yeah, and you really listen to your husband, don't you? Listen, yeah. But I do have opinions of my own. You're letting your heart rule your head. And what's wrong with that? It's better than being a control freak. Look. I'm just looking out for my own flesh and blood. And by the way, she's our daughter. She's not just yours. I know. And I'm your wife. What's the cost to come first? Rachel, if it's an apology you're after, you can forget it. You're the one who's putting Sinbad before your own family. How many more times? He is my family. Yeah, and Ron is mine. Oh, it's not my fault you drew the short straw. Shut it. You just sat there while Ron slagged him off, called him a pervert. You know how much that hurts me. Yeah, well, I am sorry if my dad doesn't come up to scratch, but at least he isn't evil and twisted like yours was. I've seen a whole new side to you, Mike. Yeah? Well, people are full of surprises, aren't they? I mean, look at Sinbad. Have you seen a whole new side to him? Cos I haven't solved the magistrates. Shame on you. Look, I don't want us at each other's throats. And I'm not going to be dictated to by you, your dad or anyone else. For once, me dad is right. There is no way Sinbad is going to be at my daughter's christening. Get lost, Mike. He's not coming. You can't lay the law down like that. I just have. Sounds exhausting. Oh, we got the first take in the can about 3.30. So you spent the entire afternoon being paid to kiss Katrina? A script is gospel. And what did you think of your schoolboy crush? <laughs> <laughs> Have the children enjoyed themselves? Mick and I find it very entertaining. We had a long chat this afternoon about your gym slip fantasy. Talking of fantasies, you and Mick, is this wedding still going ahead? Yep. Oh, are you going to waft down the aisle in a little white number? What if I do? No, just wondered. Perhaps we should ask you and Katrina to the evening bash. I think the cutlery at the day do might prove too much for her. Something old. I suppose you could use my wedding ring. Something new, Ainsley Harriet. Something borrowed. Have you still got that clump of hair from Margie Shadwick? Such wit. I'm sure Katrina really appreciates it. I'm sure she's a more rounded human being than you'll ever be. Well, I'll have to take your word for it, Max. After all, your word is your bond. She's uncomplicated. As in gormless. She's beautiful and she's kind. And she's half your age. She doesn't try to belittle me. Why should she? Lapdogs are to be nurtured. Have the children eaten? I suppose this is remarkably chaste for you, this uh, Katrina business. I happen to like her a lot. I can see you do. No, I mean a hell of a lot. I keep thinking I'm going to wake from this nightmare. Me and Mick will go down the bookies and lose a watch like we always used to. Oh, love. Then I realise I am awake. And like Mick. Mick thought maybe, just maybe, that I'd done it. He wasn't thinking straight. When I got bail for a minute, I felt relief. And then I thought, no, it's just, just prolonging the agony. Your life will be on trial, everything. People believe in you, Sim. Lost me good name. Not in this house, Shevens. Didn't know I had it till I lost it. Sim, the truth always wins in the end. Do you think so? Yeah. You're a good man. You reap as you sow. 
How can you say that, Jack? Look at you. A grafter. A good woman, the best. I haven't had it all bad, you know. Not much, you haven't. Look what Jimmy's put you through over the years. Lindsay. Little Jimmy. I'm not saying I haven't suffered, but I'm still here, aren't I? Reapers you so do unto others. Nice ideas, but it's not worth a carrot. I lost little Jimmy. And now I've got little Wills to think about. He's a good kid. So is little Andrew. He's a smashing fellow. And little Rosie. Don't forget little Rosie. She's got a dad in a million. All my life, Jack, I didn't touch that kid. Don't you think I know that? The day you do a bad thing is the day this will comes to an end. I can't go to prison. You won't have to, cos you've got bail and they're gonna find you innocent. I'm going down and all I did was try and help that lad. The truth will come out, love. It will. I haven't done anything, Jack, and I'm going down. I know I am. your best godfather. Then do it. Somebody's got to do something to protect our kids. What's up with them? Last night, he was hoping to be basking in glory in front of a certain special someone. Hey, what are you doing here? Mrs Beckham becomes celebrity interviewer. A whole host of stars line up to share their stories in Victoria's Secrets tomorrow evening at 8.30. Next tonight, a hair-raising problem for the two Richards as they try to create a revolutionary razor in Better by Design. Don't bother turning up the savvy. Enjoying this, aren't you? I'm just letting him know that he's not welcome, that's all. Now, how much stuff do you reckon we need? Two trays of lager, one of business you're doing, eh? The cheek of a man. Walking the streets as if he'd done that wrong. What's he done now? Not Raymond. The child molester. Raymond's got a lot of faults. No one knows that better than me. But he wouldn't interfere with kids. That's one thing I will give him. Not like that pervert. He shouldn't be allowed to live amongst decent folk like us. I know, but what can you do? You can do a lot, young lady. You can do a lot. All it needs is for someone to take a lead. And that's what I'm going to do. Somebody's got to do something to protect our kids. Do you think it's too late to cancel? Oh, all the invitations have gone out. Katie and Simba are two of the most important people. Katie will be here. So we're going to be godparents. She's in the air. Do you want me to check the teletext again? Oh, she'd never get from the airport to the church in time. And even if she did... I want Simba to be there. I want him to be best godfather. Then do it. I can't convince Mike and Ron. So? Well, if I postponed it until he's proved innocent, I could have the christening that I really want. You can have it now. And Mike and Ron. Since when have men ever had any say in a christening? Just an excuse for a party to them. Look. When they get back from the offy, tell them I've gone on ahead. I'll meet you in the church. Where are you going? If you want Sinbad to be godfather, then that's exactly what he's going to do. You see, son, you let 
see yourself get pushed off the ball too easily. You spent most of the second half on your bum. But I could have pushed you off. Hey! Now, with Paul was coming off that line, I thought that was great. That was really good. Why should I give up my time when they can't even be bothered to get out of bed? It's all pre-season training. It's important. Seven pints of lager, please, love. Got to work on our fitness if we're going to improve on last season. Half of them are still on all of that's no excuse. We couldn't even muster five aside. Nearly put a pair of boots on bridge. I nearly gave her a boot myself at that barbecue of yours. Lucky I'm saving you a lot, you know. She's only trying to avoid trouble. I wasn't causing trouble. I just don't like nonsense, that's all. What's wrong with that? Nothing, and I can understand why you're getting worked up. But it's just that it's, it was a family occasion, you know. No hard feelings, eh? All right, I'll let you off this time. What's happened to your eye? I don't want to talk about it. He was boxing last night. I said I don't want to talk about it. Get beat, did you? No. What have you got a gob on for, then? I haven't got a gob on. You've had one on all morning. What's up with him? Well, last night he was hoping to be basking in glory in front of a certain special someone. No, it wasn't. But she didn't turn up. I wasn't expecting her to turn up. And this morning he scored a hat-trick and the only woman there to see it was his nin. Oh! <laughs> You stop making a show of me. I'm only having a laugh. Hey, your rival sat over there. He's not my rival. I can go up with Katrina at any time I wanted. Oh, excuse me, pet. I'm sorry to bother you. Do you know there's a sex pervert living on Brookside Close? Eh, uh, no. Well, there is. Will you sign a petition to get him out? Look, I really don't want to get involved. What kind of attitude is that? That's what the Germans said when Hitler started gassing people. If good people don't get involved, young lady, evil people get to do whatever they like. Oh, I never used to say he was evil. Are you a mother? Um, none of your business. Oh, obviously not. Or you wouldn't take a chance on having someone like that roam in the streets. Look, I just think you should let the courts decide. Anyway, I've got to go. I'm going to be late for the christening. A christening? How would you like it on your conscience if that little bairn you're going to see baptised today was interfered with tomorrow. Look, whether he's guilty or not, he's hardly likely to try anything now, is he? While everyone's on their guard. How do you know? Oh, I just think you should let the courts decide. Well, if he's found guilty, he's going to be locked up for a long time. Not long enough, mind, but well for a long time. How do you know he's not thinking, I might as well have one last fling while I can? Oh, go away. Ah, it's easy to sit on the fence when you've never had bairns of your own. Oh, Lord, I don't believe it. Oh, why? I've left my wallet at Bob Foster's house. Oh, that old one? No, no, it's true. Honestly, I... Oh, come on, you know me. Everyone knows you. There's eight foot high pictures of it all over the city. Well, exactly. I can't very well make a run for it, can I? Look, I live next door to Bev. Give me an hour or so. I'll drive straight to Bob's and straight back here. I suppose I can trust you. Thanks. Seeing as you're a friend of our answers. <laughs> so, um, how are you getting on with all this modelling, then? Great. So you don't mind having your kipper plastered all over the place? Well, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? I heard you'd done an advert for the telly, you know. Yeah, that was even more fun. How come? My first screen kiss. With Trona? Yeah, Katrina. Yeah. That wasn't much acting required on either side. So you two are getting close, then? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask her out on Friday night for a meal, you see. Let's see if we can take our method acting onto another level, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yeah, I think I do. See you in an hour or so. OK. Just think about it. Sin. Bad. You can tell by his name, can't you? Well, I've got one of these for the council, one for the police, one for the papers, and I'm just going to hand one to the filthy animal himself, just to let him know what decent people around here think of him. I don't mind signing it, but if you ask me, we need to be doing more than this. In prison, nonsense are battered. Well, so are they. But that's the only way you can deal with the likes of Sinbad. If I had my way, I'd hang them. This is a mistake. Rachel wants you here. I'm going to be the centre of attention. It's little Beth's day. It should be here. Everyone's looking at not me. It's Rachel's day. She wants you to be godfather, and that's all there is to it. But you're here now. You might as well enjoy it. Enjoy it? OK, you might not enjoy it, but you're going to do it because Rachel wants you to. 
You're going to stand up there at the font, look them all in the eye, and show everyone you've got nothing to be ashamed of. So what does Ron think? When have you ever cared what Ron thought? <laughs> I don't know where Anthea's got to. We're not supposed to be coming with her. She had to go on ahead and sort out the arrangements. What arrangements? Anybody else here? Yeah, Clyde Paul's just gone and still on the early. Yeah, it's no point hanging around outside here, though, is there? We might as well go in and sit down. Any news on Casey? Oh, it doesn't look like she's gonna make it. If she'd landed, she's a phone up by now. Yeah, well, I'm sure that little Beth will manage quite nice with just me and you as godparents. Come on, let's get in. Hey, what are you doing here? I only had the two, Raymond and Bernard. I Which wasn't much for them days, but it was enough for me, I can tell you. <sighs> Don't believe it. What? Bridge has been stood talking to that woman for the last ten minutes. So? I swear she hasn't got a word in edgeways. Who me nib? I don't think I've ever seen her have to listen to anyone before. <laughs> But at least when they were bits of kids, you didn't have these perverts roaming the country. I'd never heard of paedophiles in them days, had you? Oh, yes, but I mean, don't get me wrong. I told them never to talk to strangers. But nowadays, every time you open the paper, there they are. I blame. Computers, that's what I blame. They always seem to be on them things, don't they? Have you finished, lads? Thanks very much. Aye, well, I can't stop. The more names I get, the better. Nice to talk to you. Did you hear that? Talk to me. At me, more like. Oh, I thought I could talk. Mind you, she's right, isn't she, about these child molesters? I don't know what the world's coming to. He lives next door to my grandchildren, you know. I think you're going to have to make your move, you know. And bide me time. If you don't do something soon, you're going to miss out. You can't order your money. I was talking to that sausage fella. Yeah, I noticed. Apparently, while you were getting your black eye, he was getting the throne of tongue. What? You know that telly advert he did? Yeah. They ended up having to snog. He was telling me he's got a taste for it. He's taking her out to a posh restaurant on Friday. Seriously? Mm-hmm. That's it then, isn't it? Well, I've blown it. He's won. You can't just throw the towel in like that. Look, she's just walked in. The game's not over. What have I always taught you? Play to the whistle. Why don't you just go over there and ask her out? I can't. Why? She's gorgeous. So? It's scary. You think she's too good for you? Just take your shot when you didn't play pool. Look, son, you can do anything. You can score from any angle, you can knock out any man, you can take out any woman. You can do it. Just go and ask her. You don't understand. I do understand. Can't you remember how long Di was coming down to our house to do your hair? Anthony was almost baldy by the time I got the bottle up to ask her out, but I did it. You don't ask, you don't get. Would you sign a petition to keep child molesters off the streets? Yeah, they are, love. How can he do it? How can he be godfather? He's doing it because Rachel wants him to do it. It's making a mockery of the whole thing. You've got to reject the devil for a start. Oh, and since when were you a religious expert? Hey, you don't have to be an expert to know what godparents do. Will you lower your voice? You're in church. Exactly. You should be ashamed to even set foot in this place. If you were any kind of man, you'd walk out that door right now. He's staying right where he is. Dad, it's just a ceremony. Can we get through it and talk about it after? Enjoying all this, are you, eh? Making a mockery of my granddaughter's christening. Why don't you just go? Go on. I want him here. Look, Rachel, I'm not going to fall out with you over all this. Well, shut up, then. No, I'm going to have me say. You're the baby's mother, so you're an important part of this, but only a part. Now, we may have pulled the wool over your eyes, but there are other people here who've got a perfect right to have a say in all. What's all the shouting about? Michael's a father, and I'm a grandfather. And you can't just dismiss our opinion as if it doesn't matter. I don't care what your opinion is. But if Mike doesn't want me here, I'll go. 
Tell me the truth, Mike. What do you want me to do? You lot watching. I'll be going in a minute. Why don't you go and try to rescue the poor girl before her ears start to bleed? <sighs> all right, all right, I'm going. That owl one can't have talk, can't you, Bridge? Hello? Oh, yeah. Well, go on then. Tell him to sling his hook so we can get on with the service. Look, will you all just shut up? I've never believed that you were guilty. I was just annoyed at Rachel for not telling me about it. I mean, when we left Beth with him and we went on our honeymoon, I had a right to know what was going on. And it just bugged me that you trusted him more than you trusted me. I'm sorry. But I know that's because he's been like a father to you. And I know that you're innocent. Well, you can stay. And be a godfather? Yeah. Right. Well, that's that sorted. Now, can we get on with it? Thanks. Jam molesting's terrible, isn't it? Yeah. Should be hung. I'll say. How did your fight go? I won. Knocked him out in the third. I'm sorry, I missed it. That doesn't matter. You're waiting for someone? Yeah. Who? Right, we're going now. Shall I tell Di you'll be late for your dinner? Um, well, I don't know. Yeah, you can warm it up. Be all right, Di won't mind. You stay and finish your pint. Has he told you about his hat trick? No. You know your trouble, you don't blow your own trumpet enough. Three lovely goals he scored. Oh, yeah, no problem scoring our Steve, isn't that right, son? Natural-born predator, that's what he is. I thought you were going. <laughs> hey, don't forget. It's your turn to wash the kit this week. Bye. See ya. So, who is he waiting for? Max? Mickey. Oh? She'll be here soon. Right. Yeah, um, I was wondering. What? Do you fancy a game of pool? You've asked to have your child baptised. In doing so, you're accepting the responsibility of training her in the practice of the faith. It'll be your duty to bring her up to keep God's commandments, the way Christ taught us, by loving God and our neighbour. Do you clearly understand what you're undertaking? We do. There you go. Right, um, your best. Getting your chin right down to the queue so that you can see the ball from the right angle. Um, spread your, uh, your feet wider apart. That's it. Move your back hand near at the end. That's it. Um, now, here, yeah, spread your fingers out a bit more. No. Nice and smooth from the elbow. Hi, Eugene. I'm sorry, I'm late. I, uh, um, Steve's teaching me how to play pool. Oh, right. Well, I'm not interrupting, am I? I can come back after if you want. No, it's all right. Uh, do you want a drink? Um, I just have a coffee. Thanks, Steve. Why don't you break while I'm at the bar, see how you get on? OK. Um, since when have you needed to be taught how to hold a pool cue? I'm just getting a bit of extra coaching, that's all. If your faith makes you ready to accept these responsibilities, renew now the vows of your own baptism. Reject sin. Profess your faith in Christ Jesus. For this is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which this child is about to be baptized. 
I'm going to ask you all some questions now. Just say I do, OK? Do you reject Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty promises? I do. I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. I do. There you go. Ah, oh, thanks, Steve. You're on spots. You've done well. Good as luck. Are you two doing anything on Friday? Why? You know the video we made when we all went camping? Yeah. When it comes back on Friday. We're thinking having a get together in Leo's, getting everyone round and watching it. Do you really want to go to a party in the house? We're going to bring back all the terrible memories. The holiday wasn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't mean holiday. Might be a bit weird, but I've got to get on with things, haven't I? Besides, have you seen the size of the hotel? It'd be like going to pictures. <laughs> it's up to you, I suppose. That'll be a good laugh. I'm going to call it Carry On Camping. <laughs> All the others are coming. So what do you reckon? You're up for it? Yeah, OK. I thought you were going out on Friday. Out where? For a posh meal with Max. First I've heard. I wasn't asked yet. No. Well, he's going to. Well, he'll be wasting his time if he does. Why's that? Because I'd rather go to the party. Take it you'll be there then, Steve. Oh, I... I'll be there. By God's gift, through water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn to everlasting life. In his goodness, may he send his peace upon all who are gathered here, in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless you. And that's it. Sorry to have kept you. Thank you all uh, very much for coming. I don't believe it. It can't be true. It's not true. How do you know? Come on. How do you know? Because Rachel's got faith in him, and I've got faith in her judgment. He's acting as if he's guilty, though. Any man who leaves the church in that kind of hurry has got to have something on his conscience. So... How long has Katrina been in, then? Oh, not long. And how has she been with, um... How do you mean? Well, have they seemed friendly with each other? Oh, very. In what way? Well, I went over there before, and he was blowing in her ear. Really? And do you know what she said to him? Thanks for the refill. <laughs> do you know what she'd say to you if you blew in her ear? What? Hello. <sighs> oh, don't look now, but your co-star's just arrived. Hi, Max. Hello. What are you calling him over for? We can have a game of doubles after we finish this. Mmm, something smells good. It's the Gossages. <laughs> well, I didn't know you could play pool, Mrs Gossage. Steve's teaching me. Oh, right. Well, uh, I'll play the winner then, yeah? I thought we could have a game of doubles after this. All right, well, me and you take on Steve and Nicky. Oh, I can't play for Toffee. I'll just watch. All right, well, uh, winner stays on. Is that all right, Steve? OK. Have you told them how well the filming day went? Oh, yes, we've heard all about it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just couldn't get out of character. <laughs> Actually, to celebrate our success, um, I took the liberty of booking a table at Henri's. Uh, have you heard of it? No. Oh, well, it's a wonderful restaurant. The maitre d' is a friend of mine, and uh, I thought you may be able to be free on Friday night. I'm sorry, Max. I'm going to a party at Leo Johnson's house on Friday. Oh. Oh, well, never mind. I suppose a party would be much more fun anyway, yeah. Do you mind if I tag along? No. More the merrier. Oh, what a shame why it's gone in. Oh, well, looks like it's uh, me to play Katrina, Steve. Go away. No. I just want to be left on my own. I've done what I came here to do. I know it wasn't easy for you. You've got that right. I'm really glad that you did it. Did what? Told a pack of lies. Because that's all it was in their age. A pack of lies. I didn't mean any of it. Yes, you did. Do I believe in God the Almighty? I don't. Because if he exists, why is he doing this to me? Do I believe in Jesus Christ who was crucified and rose from the dead? I don't. Because I'm the one that's getting crucified. Do I believe in the forgiveness of sins? No, not anymore. It's just a ritual. It keeps Mike's mum happy. I don't believe a word of it. Do you hear me? Not a word. So go on. Strike me down dead now. Kill me. You'll be doing me a favour. See, 
Nothing. There's no one there, Rach. We're on our own. You're not on your own. I believe you, Mike believes you, Anthea believes you, Jackie believes you, the Corkills believe you. And if this goes to court, then the jury will believe you. You've got to fight it. How do I fight it, Rachel? Hey, what do I do? I'm getting pulled and pushed from pillar to post. I can't do anything. I'm just sitting here waiting for it to happen. It's going to be all right. It's not. Not unless I go and see Andrew myself and speak to him. No, that's not going to happen, is it? Well, maybe it should. Well, it didn't help when Jackie Corker went round. Well, maybe if I went. You'd be breaking your bail. Isn't it worth it? No, it would make things worse. Rachel, it couldn't get any worse. It's a simple enough question. Child molesters, are you for them or against them? What kind of party is it? Carry on camping. You're joking. Have ourselves a little preview, eh? How guilty do you used to look? Tomorrow night at 8, a brand new series covering the entire 20th century through the descendants of an English blacksmith, Family Century. Next tonight, Posh Spice becomes the interviewer for a change in Victoria's secrets. And coming right up, some reactions from the Big Brother 2.